Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. In today's video, I will be doing an easy soft glam makeup tutorial for you. Um, I used a palette that I know most of you already have and you'll see that in the video. So without further ado, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. We're gonna start this soft glam look off with our eyes first and then go to the rest of our face. I am going to be using a palette that I believe most of you have, hopefully. Um, it's the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. It's a fairly older palette. I did pick one because I want you guys to be able to achieve these looks without having to try to find dupes or closer colors, which I'm sure you can, but it's just easier if it's something that you already have. So I did go ahead and pick this one. Um, the palette itself is really nice. Uh, I have barely used it. I've had it for a really long time. It's not that it's a bad palette. I just haven't really used it. I have a ton of makeup. However, I do want to touch base on my hair. I know that it is up. Finally, I can put it up, by the way. If you're not new here, a while ago I shaved underneath, so it was hard to do that. Pieces are still kind of falling, so if a piece falls, just ignore it but I also just didn't have time to do my hair or really I was just lazy and didn't want to. <laughs> so I just put it up in a ponytail for now. So this is gonna be a super easy soft glam makeup tutorial, nothing crazy, no in-depth stuff, just so you can kind of get it on and get out the door. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So per the usual, I do already have my eye my eyeshadow. I don't have my eyeshadow on, my eyebrows on. Um, just because I do them off camera. I'm going to go in with the, um, flipping around here. I'm going to go in with the Morphe translucent um, eyeshadow base and I'm going to go ahead and place that on my lids. So I already have powder from setting my eyes. So if it looks like it's lifting something up, it's because I have translucent powder and concealer on the eyes. And do not mind my chair if it makes noises. I don't know why it does, but like if I move the wrong way, it sounds like I fall. So if you hear that, I most likely did not fart. Most likely. All right, and I did zoom you guys in just a little bit more, not too crazy, just because it's pretty simple of a look, but I want you guys to be able to see things a little bit better. All right. So if you have noticed lately, like my channel art and things have changed, um, that is because I have changed my schedule. I'm going to be doing videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I'm going to be doing YouTube lives on Saturdays. Every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, unless obviously something comes up. But that is my goal to do lives at 7 p.m. Whether it's just talking, it's doing makeup, it's doing like reviews. I don't really know yet what I'm gonna be doing, but I do wanna kinda give you guys like more instead of like just videos, but kinda like reaching out to you guys and having conversations with you just because I find that like super fun to do um and I was kind of nervous to do lives but I did one Saturday you can't see it anymore because I got rid of it but I did it and I really I didn't mind it at all I'm gonna have to do it on my phone until I can learn how to hook my camera up to my computer which uh, it seems to be easy from what I found but I just have to get the pieces to do it so bear with me with the quality of it however I just thought it would be fun if we have like a you know chit chat sit down talk kind of day just once a week go live you know I might review a product like I said I might do a makeup look or I might just sit there and talk with you guys shoot the shit and have fun so we're gonna go in with a shimmer shade it's actually gonna be this one which is beam so it's gonna be right here we're gonna go in with that one and what we're gonna do is we are going to go in the inner corner to the middle so I did a similar look like this when I did the full face of my most expensive makeup. I'll go ahead and link it above. But I didn't really go into depth on how to do this look and how easy it is done. So after placing that eyeshadow primer down and letting it sink in a little bit, you just place this. Now I do go up a little bit higher than my crease because I have slightly hooded eyes. The reason that I do that is because it brings that color up so when I open my eyes it's not just like gone. So um, if you have slightly hooded eyes you may want to do the same. So this isn't really very shimmery. It's almost just matte. 
So what I might do once I've completed the rest of it is go in with like a shimmer to go ahead and place on top because it's not giving me those like those bright shimmer vibes I'm looking for. So when you put that light color down, the color you're gonna pick for the soft glam look is going to be a like chocolatey brown, but not super dark, but it is gonna be your deepest shade. So I have two different ones here. You have this shade, which is like super brown, and then you have these two. I think I'm going to go, I actually might go in with this one. I usually go in with the, a color like this, but it isn't really the brown I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna go in with that dark one. So I retract my previous statement. Just get you a dark brown. So I'm gonna go in with that and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner to, wait, to meet with that shimmer that I put on there. And don't bring it up, you're just bringing it in. So if you guys do not follow my TikTok, you totally should. Um, it's kind of cringy, I won't lie. I'm getting better at it, but one of the things that I am working on doing, and I have a lot of fun doing it on there, is swatching my lipsticks, like all of them, up close so you can kind of see the color, how they apply. So if you're interested in like seeing all of my lipsticks being swatched, then you need to go check it out. It is Jamie B. Just like here, Jamie B-E-E. -E. And give me a follow. All right, so I'm just lightly blending it over right here. So I didn't bring it up too far because that is not the plan. You just want to pack it, make sure the color is there, and that you have it a little bit blended with that shimmer. But again, if it's not super blended, we can fix that with the shimmer. I forgot like how much I actually like this palette. Why do I not use this palette more often? So I'm gonna be going in with a smaller tapered blending, blending brush and I'm actually gonna go in with, that dark color I used by the way is Central Park right here. Yeah, Central Park. And then now I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Mm. I'm in between these two. I think I'm actually gonna go in with this one right here next to Beam, and that is Silk Cream. It just seems less pink. That other one seems really kind of pinky, and I'm not going for the pink look. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna start at that dark color and start to blend over to the inner corner, just lightly. So put some product on, Blend it until there's really nothing on it and then do it again, but just make sure you're tapping it because you don't want too much color there because you're just trying to soften this. And also don't do this. Like I went to do that because you're used to doing that when you're doing this, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna windshield wiper that dark all over and it's gonna really smoke it out instead of softening it up. So you just wanna go one way and then just keep going. Now, you can always go in and put a shimmer right under the brow if that's something that you like. I'm really not a big fan of that, so I don't do that. But as for the lids, like we're almost done, for real. Like it's that easy to do. And I actually don't think I need to go in with a shimmer. It's not as shiny as I wanted, but it's definitely popping and doing what I want it to do. So we're gonna close this up for that, and now we're gonna do the face real quick, and then we'll go back into finishing up the eyes but literally it's that easy light shimmer chocolatey dark brown taupey color on the top to blend it together so first I'm going to go in with my MAC strobe cream and I'm going to put that all over my face my face has been pretty like dull lately I know it doesn't look like that on camera I just did a treatment today um it's a origins hello calm and it really hydrates my skin and it really brings it back to life. So it's doing a little bit better today, but I just want to put some liquid cream highlighter to give it a little bit more, if you know what I mean. So now that that's there, we're going to go ahead and put on our primer and I'm going to use the e.l.f. primer. This is the Poreless Putty Primer. This is literally $8.00. I got it from Target, but I'm sure you can get it anywhere. It's compared to the Tatcha Canvas Silk, which is $52. <laughs> Yay! All right, so I'm just gonna put it in the places that I really need it. Okay, so now that I have the primer on, I'm gonna be going in with my foundation, which is gonna be, 
I'm actually going to be trying the Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. I actually did this in a whole collab like review video and I really liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and use that because it's kind of it's more hydrating than um like a matte foundation or stick i was gonna do a stick foundation but it's just my skin's too dry right now it's too dry okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and obviously pounce that all over my face see it's just such a more like radiant look than any of my other foundations also Try to use my Beauty Blender foundation today. Has anybody come across the issue that the pump stops working? Because mine did. I cannot get a single, and like, there's like product in there. I've barely used that one, and I cannot get any product to come out onto the little try. So if you see here, like putting that strobe cream underneath this foundation, that's already pretty radiant has really given my skin just such a beautiful and like naturally glowy dewy look i literally like this foundation so freaking much i wouldn't say love because i don't use it i don't grab it all the time um but i liked it when i did this is like the only item i kept out of the whole thing that i did for that video so i'm just really really a big fan and this again is the radiant foundation it's bright spark and it was like 14.99 14.99 that ain't bad. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to be doing my shape tape in the color medium, shade medium. And I'm just going to give it a shimmer, 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 shimmer. People ask me all the time, like why I don't use a crap ton of concealer, like on Instagram and stuff. Um, because you're not supposed to. So, and that's like another thing that maybe I can start doing on my lives on Saturdays is kind of like showing you guys what you should and I guess sh not really should and shouldn't be doing with makeup, but just the proper way to apply it because the problem is I think a lot of people get confused on, you know, what they're, how they're supposed to apply makeup because when they're applying makeup on Instagram, even here on YouTube when I'm putting on makeup, it's way more than I would wear out in public. Like if you were to see me after my videos, it's really, really bad. Like it's cakey. And the reason that is, is because we're trying to get it to come off on camera as bright as you would see it in person. So the problem is a lot of people are like, you know, you don't use as much concealer and whatever on camera like a lot of people do well one I'm trying to keep it as more realistic for you guys as possible and also it's just not how it is like you shouldn't be putting six pounds of concealer under your eye you shouldn't really be baking like I'm so against baking it's not even funny because the problem is under your eye does not produce any natural um oils so I say set, yes, okay, fine, if you have some creasing, but the problem is what you're doing is the exact opposite. So if you have lines under there or like dryness and you're just putting powder on top of it, it's really just bringing out that creasing or that dryness. Um, and you just really don't want to do that. So I don't bake. If I do a setting powder, it's just super, super light, like tap, 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 and then that's it. So like, see how like light I went in? Like there's just not much on my brush and I just kind of sweep it. So if I'm going to like, you know, my day to day or like going to work, stuff like that, I'm literally just going to leave it alone. Like I don't set it at all. So it's not necessary to bake. It's not necessary to put six pounds of concealer under your eyes. Those are all just for filming purposes. So when I start doing my lives, we can kind of discuss that a little bit more. Um, in depth of like things that you should not be doing that you see on the internet. I mean, obviously there are a lot of things you shouldn't be doing, but makeup wise, things that you should not be doing to your face and why, like what they actually do. Because I think a lot of the times we see these things and we're like, oh my gosh, I'm just fixing this because the foundation messed it up a little bit. Um, a lot of the times we see this and we're like, oh, we have to do that. But you don't, like, you really don't. And that's not something I can promise you that these YouTubers or these Instagram people, what are they called? Instagram influence? I don't know, whatever. Instagram models. 
they're not doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. They do that when they have to do photos. They do that when they're filming just because, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my earring back on. It's, it comes off on camera a lot better because the lights and stuff will dim down what we're putting on. So we have to kind of do a little bit more. But the reason that I choose to do more of a realistic is like, yeah, you're not gonna see it as boom, boom, boom but it's gonna look like what it's supposed to look like and I'm gonna look the same than if you were to see me on camera and then see me in person, if that makes sense. So you wanna make sure, obviously, you're covering what you wanna cover, you're doing what you wanna do, but you don't wanna overdo it. Does that make sense? Okay, move it on. So now that I did that, we're gonna go ahead in with a bronzer and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Beach Bronze as usual, cause it's my favorite. And this one, Sun Kissed, obviously. If you're not new here, I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some bronzer on there. Just look like I've been out in the sun, even though it's cold. It's actually been really nice here in Maryland. Um, it's the middle of January and literally it was 60 degrees the other day. 60 degrees, like we don't have that in January. So I'm not really sure what's happening or why we're getting such crazy weather. Like today was super nice too. I think it was like 50 something in the middle of January. Like I, I emphasize that because we don't get that all the time. So it's so strange to me. And I think, I'm pretty sure like winter is just over for us. All right, now we're gonna go in with our blush. And today I'm gonna be using the Jouer Bouquet Blush Palette. I think I actually just used this one the other day. But it has, so when you do like soft glam, you kind of want like more of a, like a, not nude, but kind of like brown undertone blush, just so it gives you like a nice look, but it's not like red, pink. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Marigold, which is this color right here. I don't really like to swipe my blush. I'm more of a tapper. Cause I feel like it really gets it into your skin. I don't know why I did that. We're gonna go in with our highlighter. So the highlighter is Becca Cosmetics and this is Vanilla Quartz. I can't open it. Oh! That is a <sighs> blinding highlighter. Oh my God. Okay, we went <laughs> on a limit. A little bit heavier on the highlight than you're really supposed to for a soft glam. Who can complain about a highlighter though? I mean, come on, it's beautiful. All right, and then we're gonna go in with our lipstick and what you're gonna wanna do is do kind of basically just a nude. Um, any nude will do, but I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty and this is in Nude 5. It's a little bit more pinky nude. Oh, and I love it every time. So I don't really use a lip liner with this lipstick. However, I have found when I tried the red one, because they're really, really creamy, like these are like super buttery creamy, um, I have found that the color will tend to feather into my lip line. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyelashes on off camera and then I will be right back and we'll be finishing up the rest of the eye look. And we're back. These are the lashes from Real Techniques that I got with the Christmas clearance um, video that I did, the haul. I'm not gonna lie to you, they're not that bad at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be going in with this on the inner corner on the bottom lid and then this one right here, the silk cream from the middle over. So it's a little smoky, but it's not like too, too dark. So I'm just gonna take it right here and just connect it to that other dark color, but not bringing it all the way over because that's gonna close our eyes out and we're trying to not do that. Plus it's soft glam, so you're supposed to be, you know, soft with the glam. So I'm taking that salt, that silk cream and I'm starting where I stopped with the dark color and blending it over. Just so it fades over and it's not a super harsh cut. I like that. So see how I have some color under there, but not too crazy. And that's it for the eye look. Oh my god. This actually turned out really freaking fantastic. 
and just like that we're done all right guys so that is it for my easy soft glam look i hope you liked it i hope it is fairly easy enough for you to achieve go ahead and leave me a comment in the box below if you need any further assistance on how to achieve this look i tried to keep it to three shadows so it was kind of like a three-step eyeshadow really simple a palette that you probably already have and as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me and i will see you in the next one bye